The Uffizi Galleries are a world-renowned repository of Renaissance art, but the museum's life is far from static. We're here with a preview of the 2018 exhibitions in the pipeline. A contemporary twist on Sardinian tradition is the common thread in Maria Lai's work. Using string and thread, Maria Lai combined traditional Sardinian civilization with the language of modern art. During the 20th and early 21st century, she piqued international attention with her abstract sculptures. Jacopo Puntormo is never too far from the spotlight in Florence. In collaboration with the J. Paul Getty Museum in Los Angeles and the Pierpoint Morgan Library in New York, Pontormo's Alabardiere will come to Florence for the first time in two decades and will be displayed alongside a range of 16th century works. Next in the lineup is an exploration of the relationship of Islam to Florence. Islam in Florence, collectors from the Medici to the 19th century will highlight the dialogue between the Renaissance city and the Eastern Islamic world over the course of the 15th to the 17th centuries. A sculptor best known for his icon of the post-9-11 world will soon be in the Tuscan capital. Fritz Koenig sculpted the sphere in New York which miraculously made it through the 9-11 terrorist attacks, becoming a symbol of survival. He was inspired by Italian art, and this show is the first large-scale retrospective in his honor. The bond between humans and horses stretches back centuries and will be celebrated in the Boboli Gardens. It's a bond that goes back to prehistoric times. Over time, the art of writing from antiquity to the Middle Ages will explore how this relationship has been depicted in mythology and funerary monuments, as well as how it's been lived in rituals and daily life. Leonardo's Lester Codex will be on loan to the Uffizi Galleries in one of the most highly anticipated shows of the year. Five centuries after Leonardo's death, the Lester Codex will be temporarily on loan to Florence and its pages displayed in their original forms through innovative technology. Next, get a sense of the growing interest in international taste during the 18th century. Palazzo Pitti's Sala del Fiorino will draw attention to the growing interest in the exotic and the reverence for antiquity in that period through a selection of porcelain, painting, sculpture, waxwork, and tapestries from Florence. Florence and Vienna. It wouldn't be a complete exhibition year in Florence without some substantial Medici presence. The spectacular Sala Bianca or White Hall will get a colorful makeover with three monumental and recently restored Medici tapestries depicting the consecration of the baptistry, the Goth siege of Fiesole, and the union between Florence and Fiesole. Next up is an exploration of a somewhat controversial relationship between artists from Emilia Romagna and the person widely considered to be the father of art history. A selection of Giorgio Vasari's graphic works will be on display alongside drawings by Parmigianino, an artist who deeply influenced him during his time in Bologna in 1539, along with works by other friends, admirers, or contemporaries. These are the highlights, but keep an eye out for new programming year-round.